my name is Laura Williams. I'm the founder and CEO of Girls Gone Sporty, and this is our first ever product review. What I'm going to talk to you today is something called the PAIR. It stands for Performance Enhancing Audio Research, and it's a pretty cool little device, and I'm going to kind of walk you through. It was first developed uh, primarily as a tool for runners and run training, but as a general fitness enthusiast, I'm going to tell you why I think it's great for a lot of different activities. So basically what we have here, we have a foot pod, and this clips on and off, and it clips and attaches easily to your shoelaces. We have a wireless heart rate monitor that just easily straps, like most of them, clip, clips in and out, um, real easy to put on and take off. And then we have the pair device itself. Now the pair device is actually just this little piece right here. And um, what it does is it syncs up with the heart rate monitor and the foot pod to track your distance, your time, your calories, your heart rate, your whole, the whole nine yards. Um, what's neat is that most runners, most fitness enthusiasts like listening to their music and this actually enables you to listen to your music while using the, the device itself and using a shuffle, an iPod shuffle, you just slide it in clips right in, fits on, and you can easily listen to your music while also getting the uh, feedback during your workout. Now that's also an interesting thing. Unlike most heart rate monitors where they're attached to a watch, this one actually talks to you. So when you use these headphones, there's a little button on the side, and you click the button at any point in your workout, and the device will override your music and tell you exactly where you are in terms of distance, heart rate, calories burned, time, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, one of the reasons I really like this device over other similar devices is that I actually feel like the distance tracked is pretty darn accurate. Um, I do a lot of distance tracking using uh, Google Maps and uh, Map My Run and all those kinds of things. And most of the times, most of the time when I cross-reference a watch or a device that says it tracks distance, uh, it's pretty far off from what uh, Map My Run or one of those other GPS type sites ends up tracking. So um, this one was very close, very, very, very close to the point where I was kind of floored how, how accurate it was. And that's because of the foot pod, which most devices don't have. Uh, the other thing I really liked about this one is because you do have the ability to sync it up with an online portal where you give your height, your weight, your uh, age, your fitness level, all those kinds of things. You plug it into their system and you can actually sync up your data into the system. And because the device has that data in it, it actually has a more accurate uh, calorie tracking than most other devices do as well. Most devices, when they track calories, it's based on some very general assumptions that aren't all that accurate. So, I really like this device overall for those reasons, but I also found it was extremely helpful for me when I was at the gym working out. <laughs> most, most people use it for running, and there's some reasons why they use it for running, which I'll get to in a second. But um, for the general fitness enthusiast, because it tracks your heart rate so carefully and it tracks your calories so accurately, um, I was actually pretty floored when I was using it for my high intensity workouts uh, to, to get the feedback on how many calories I was actually burning. Um, generally, when I estimate how many calories I think I might be burning in a given workout session, I usually estimate about 100 calories per 10 minutes. Um, this indicated I was almost doubling that amount based on the workouts that I was doing. So. Um, I still take all calorie counting with a little bit of a grain of salt, but I feel like this one's much more accurate than most of them, just given the uh, input and feedback you're getting from the wireless systems and also the uh, data you input into their online system. For runners, the really cool thing is that uh, it actually provides you individualized workouts based on your fitness level, based on your heart rate training, and your heart rate um, assessment. So when you first get the device, you go through a basic heart rate assessment, and it takes you from 
um, a very, very easy workout where it's monitoring your heart rate the whole time up to about two thirds of your uh, max heart rate. And based on those things, it creates training zones for you, heart rate training zones. And um, there's a whole, lots and lots of programs that you can access on their online portal, put onto your pod, and then it'll take you through workouts based on your own heart rate training zones and where you should be for those levels. So that's a really helpful thing. It also has whole systems, so it can take you from basically couch to marathon, <laughs> or uh, you know, if you want to improve your speed, if you want to burn fat, um, whatever your goals are, they have systems and programs specifically designed for you, which I think is a really cool thing. So overall, I'm really impressed with this piece. The one thing that I found a little tricky, and I think it's primarily due to my own knowledge, um, with my master's degree in exercise and sports science, everything I was ever taught um, is that when you're talking about rate of perceived exertion, or RPE, which is what they use to um, assess your heart rate training zones, um, a one on RPE, based on my knowledge and experience, is basically you're laying down. <laughs> And that was not how they were assessing heart rate here. So just know that when they say go at a one pace on your RPE, that should just be your very easiest workout pace that you can possibly go. So um, maybe a walk or a very, very, very slow jog, but you shouldn't be going even below what you think you should be going. I was basically hardly moving when I first did my heart rate assessment. So that was the one little tricky thing. The only other thing that I found was that sometimes the device doesn't immediately pick up either the heart rate monitor or the foot pod. And it will tell you when it has picked them up. So when you first turn it on, it'll say, um, syncing with heart rate monitor, syncing with foot pod. And if you don't hear both of those things, then you should wait to begin your workout until after you hear them. Because a couple times I didn't hear them, I didn't think about it did my workout, and then realized I didn't have all the data I needed. So those are the only two things. Otherwise, I think it's a great product. I've been really impressed with it. Thanks.